What's going on guys, Matthew Monas here, and I've been searching for the perfect back to school laptop for those of you on a budget and want something powerful enough that they can do most of the work and still game at the same time. Well, it's right here. This is the Acer Aspire E15. And the best part about it only retails for $600. Now in terms of looks, you're not getting anything fancy. This is a very simple black laptop with the Acer logo on the left hand side. And it's made out of all plastic with a black lid that kind of has a checkered or plaid pattern on the top. Now here's the thing. One of its major drawbacks is obviously portability. This is a 5.2 pound laptop so it's a little bit heavier than your typical ultrabook but still not as heavy as most gaming laptops in terms of ports you have this thing called a cd-rom i haven't seen one of these guys in a long time on a laptop you have a usb 3.0 port your headphone jack and of course your barrel connector on the other side you have a usb type c port now this is not Thunderbolt 3, so you cannot hook up an external GPU, but you can hook it up to a docking station and of course use an external monitor. You have RJ45 if you need to connect it to a network. You have a VGA port. Another thing I haven't seen on a laptop in a very long time. So if you're in a school with a lot of different peripherals and different things to connect to, you might actually find this to come in handy. HDMI, which is always a must, and of course, another two USB 3.0 ports. Now in terms of upgradability, it's very easy to get into. You can just use the bottom portion to get inside of the laptop. You do have one M2 SSD, which gets your typical read and write speeds. You have two RAM slots, so you can actually upgrade this to 32 gigabytes of RAM down the road. And there's also an empty space for a 2.5 inch hard drive. So let's say if you need more space because you have a lot of documents, you can go out, buy one and place it in here. Just note that you do need to buy a bracket in order to use that drive inside of this laptop. There is a GPU, the MX150, which is equivalent to a GT1030 on a desktop. And of course, the i5-8250U processor. The battery's on top. It's a fairly big battery. I get about eight hours of use before needing to charge. So perfect for classroom use. You don't need to plug this in and charge it consistently. It'll get you through the entire day. So the display is the other area where they kind of had to cut back on this laptop. It is a 1080p display. It's not the brightest display, but it's fine, especially if you're indoors. Color accuracy is not the best either. So if you're buying this to do design work, again, you're gonna wanna hook up a more color accurate external display. But for typing notes, watching movies, playing games, the display is absolutely fine. There's a webcam above the display, it's 720p. Obviously it's not the best webcam. If you want a really great webcam, you're gonna have to look at something like the Surface Line, but it's fine, especially if you're doing a lot of collaboration with other students in your school, the webcam is more than usable. Sound is coming out of two speakers on the bottom of the laptop, and to be quite honest, they're not that great at all. They are very tinny, they sound like they're echoing. There's something you just don't wanna to listen to for a very long period of time. So again, carry headphones with this laptop. Keyboard. It is full size. It does have a numeric keypad, so if you're an accountant or you're taking accounting or financing, you can crunch those numbers a lot quicker. It does have backlighting. The only complaint that I have is it's a bit mushy to type on, but it's not gonna affect your typing experience. There's also backlighting, which is permanently white in case you need to be able to see the keys a little bit better. Touchpad, it's a good size, lots of space using Windows Precision drivers, but the problem is it's made out of plastic, so it's not the most smooth experience. You're gonna find a much more enjoyable one with trackpads that use glass. So let's talk about performance, and it's probably the best thing you're gonna get for 600 bucks. An i5 with an 8250U, four cores, eight threads, and an MX150 GPU. That means any productivity tasks that you do in class will easily be handled by this laptop. And if you want a game, on low to medium settings at 1080p, you can do that with the MX150. Now, obviously it's not gonna be able to handle very heavy titles with a lot of graphics, but games like Overwatch or Fortnite, League of Legends, CSGO, this laptop will be able to handle it. So this brings me into heat. How does this handle under full load? Well, I use this for gaming and I also put under a stress test for a solid 30 to 40 minutes. Never past 80 degrees Celsius, never thermal throttled. This does a good job maintaining good clock speeds. Even surface temperatures under 50 degrees Celsius, which is always great. In terms of fan noise, you can hear them. They're not super duper loud like the Acer Predator Helios 300, but they are noticeable. So here's the bottom line. I personally feel the Acer Aspire E15 is one of the best laptops you can buy for 600 bucks. It's not fancy. It's made out of plastic. There's even a little bit of screen flex, but for someone who's on a tight budget, needs power, needs performance, and doesn't mind sacrificing a little bit of portability, this is the laptop to take a look at. 
Anyways, that wraps up this review of the Acer Aspire E15, the perfect laptop for students on a budget who need performance. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord, follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.